Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is going to be for Aries singles. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what advice Spirit has for you on how you should approach love or prepare for love. So let's jump right in. For Aries, Spirit Angels, guides, messages for Aries singles. Aries singles that are looking for love. Who or what is coming towards Aries? Who or what spirit is coming towards Aries, please? Who's coming towards Aries? Wow, divine timing. Trust in divine timing. Whatever's coming your way, it's been divinely guided, destined, happening in divine timing. What else? reach out okay so someone is reaching out here to you okay what else for aries Oop. like it grab my deck who or what is coming towards them spirit who or what is coming towards aries okay it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so yeah, whatever's coming towards you, Aries here, whoever's coming towards you, this was like meant to happen. It was divinely guided. Someone's making the effort they were supposed to be making this whole time possibly. <laughs> um, and they're gonna be reaching out messaging you or just kind of touching base with you or just you know kind of taking the first step who or what is coming towards aries singles spirit who or what is coming towards aries aquarius this is the star energy of the major arcana could also be somebody that has aquarius in their chart and fearless, motivated and bold. Okay, so whoever this is, I feel like they're motivated by a wish, a desire um, that has to do with you, or maybe they are just somebody that, you know, whatever they see, they get, whatever they want, they take action towards. Because whoever this is, they're making effort. They're making the effort and taking the action. They're being fearless, right? Who or what is coming towards Aries? I could shuffle my deck that would be great who or what is coming towards Aries spirit who or what is coming towards Aries two of Pentacles the Queen of Swords and temperance Sagittarius energy bottom of the deck the Sun well the temperance card makes me think of divine timing because this is something that is slowly coming together patience is needed time is needed Queen of Swords tends to be very direct has a tough exterior a bit hard to approach Aquarius Libra Gemini there it could be that this person is just going to be very op uh, honest and open with you but the two of Pentacles is telling me that perhaps they've been kind of debating going back and forth about doing this so let's see tell me about the two of Pentacles why is the two of Pentacles here the page of cups yeah so it's almost like someone's going back and forth about what to say here what message to send five of swords nine of swords oh this could be an apology I feel like this person is just afraid. They're afraid. Um, Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if this is a past person that left this connection or mistreated you in some way. Or perhaps they have left a situation that had a lot of conflict. And now they're coming towards you. And it's like, I don't know what's going to happen there with Aries. There are a lot of ways to interpret this. But yeah, the Nine of Swords, you know, it's almost like what do I say to Aries let's see why is the Queen of Swords here the 
the moon pisces energy oh my god this is a lot the six of swords the eight of cups oh yeah there was definitely a departure here i don't know if you walked away from this person or if this person walked away from you but i feel like there is a past person or a history here with a past person aries we have the seven of pentacles there's that patience waiting energy the tower and the hierophant taurus energy hmm I feel there was a tower between you and this person. I think that there's a lot that's unsaid, unclear with the moon and the seven of pentacles. It's almost like someone's wondering how you feel. You know, it's like, I wonder what Aries is thinking after everything that has happened between us, you know. Um, some of you, there could have been a commitment that you had with this person, with the higher font. Maybe a commitment that got in the way. Or maybe this person was not able to commit to you. Because I get the sense this Queen of Swords might be how this person is looking at you. Or how they think you're going to receive them. You know? Almost like a very cold front. Maybe you're intimidating to this person. Because they're scared. And there's a reason why they're scared. There's a reason why they're anxious. Tell me about temperance. You know, it's kind of interesting because it's like we have fearless here. So maybe this is an all an act. What's this? Oh, five of cups. Regrets, sadness. Tell me about temperance. Tell me about temperance. Strength, Leo energy. Yeah, I get the sense, Aries, that this person is going to put up a, like a brave face. Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're going to put up a brave face and come forward and be this like, you know, fearless, bold person. But deep down, they are terrified. It's just a front. Um, I feel like this person wants to be in your good graces or like something like that. Um, it's almost like they're thinking, you know, I wonder what Aries is thinking about me because I know what I want to do with Aries. I know I want to talk to Aries possibly apologize to Aries but this tower that happened between us is this fixable you know because they don't have a clue this person maybe things were said that they regret maybe they didn't tell you the truth back then or something like that um, because they're coming in hot with this knight of wands what else do we need to know about this person this situation for Aries. What else do we need to know about this person? Family room and mature man. So this person could be older now, wiser, maybe enough time has passed for this person to like grow up. I also get the sense with mature man and family room, the family room energy is like very intimate. Um, it's, it's about like feeling so comfortable with someone that you're able to be your true self with someone and be very honest with someone. There's a comfort level with family room and intimacy. So I feel like this person, they feel comfortable with you or there's an intimacy between you that I feel like they're hoping is still there. Let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. If you already have someone from the past that you had a difficult um, situation with. Because I feel like it was not successful in the past. There was a tower between you and this person. And it could also be, um, Aries, that this person has walked away from something else and had a tower. Well, maybe they were even married with the Hierophant here. And now they want to come forward, but they have no idea how you're going to react, right? Because I feel like time has passed here between you and this person. Now they're coming in with this little page of cups, and they're hoping that that's enough. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aries singles? How can they approach love for Aries singles? How can they approach love? Take a risk and then summer. Okay, so it's summer is here. Bottom of the deck is wait and see. This is from my stellar guidance deck. 
So yeah, I feel like something is happening this summer right now because someone's willing to take the risk. Now, when this person does come forward, they might act real suave, real, <laughs> real uh, like smooth, but they're terrified. They're terrified Aries to come forward. And that's what you have to know about them. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Hopefully it resonated for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this bonus reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.